Rise and Shine Kitten Bomb Crew. I know it has been a long, long time since our last vlog, but I was down and out in January and I got sucked into Disney Plus National Geographic section and all the zoo shows. So we're gonna start a new series on the vlog where we're gonna visit the zoos in the Florida area, starting with our local Central Florida Zoo. So let's go on the adventure, shall we? Um, unicorns do exist, I'm just saying. Rhinoceros unicornis. Now these rhinoceroses are endangered. They live up to be 40 years old and they feed on grasses and vegetation. There's a lot of kids behind me. Sorry guys. So rhino, we started in the back with a rhino encounter. And the rhino encounter is $20 to do. And you get an up close and personal with the rhinos at the Central Florida Zoo. Unfortunately, we didn't get the ticket the last ticket was sold for the person right before us but their area is so big and you are, are really close to them anyways far closer than I've ever been to a rhino so past the rhino encounter is a nature walk that leads you to the Florida black bear so that's where we're going right now Check out the Florida back there. Central Florida area is filled with wild black bears. So if you are ever encountered with a black bear, don't run. Don't play dead. Black bears like to eat dead things, okay? Don't look it directly in the eye. What you should do, speak to it calmly back up slowly and give it a path to escape get to a secure location as soon as possible okay and then don't climb trees don't go on a foot race because they can run up to 35 miles an hour they can climb 30 feet tall trees so do yourself a favor stay calm don't look at it in the eye back up slowly and get out of Dodge in a safe manner. So on top of maybe being encountered by black bears, things that you should do um, keep your garage door closed. Make sure your grill outside is cleaned. Um, that residual smell of meat is something that they like. Um, get a trash can that is a bear proof trash can. Um, bears love water and pools. So if you have a pool and you're in Florida, likely chances they'll try and take a dip every now and then. They get hot too. It's Florida. It can get really hot. If you have had a bear encounter where you live, comment below.
so the zookeepers are cleaning out the um, leopards area making it fresh with fresh things for him to play with the cat's name is teamer they told me and they do this very often to make sure that the health and safety of the animal is taken care of obviously in the wild a leopard will live up to 15 years with human care it can live up to 20 years and he is in the back you can see him pacing back and forth in front of his his cage door just e eagerly awaiting the time he gets to get back into his enclosure and play with the beautiful trees that he has to climb and get his fresh water and everything that the keepers have done an excellent job of making sure that they do so we're gonna wait around and watch him get released back into his enclosure You're, we're reaching way up there. You're like, I don't really want to touch him. Bring him down closer to you. Hi. Yeah, he likes that. So you want to hug that one too? I do. Yeah. I have a better chance hugging this than the rhino. Yeah, baby. Ten year old, and his name is Rafiki.
is a threatened endangered species. It's not on the endangered species list. It ranges from Southeast Asia. Its diet consists of fruit, insects, and small mammals. Lives up to 40 years. Loves building nests and building guardians. It likes wet, uh, predator-proof nests. That's what a guardian is, and it is beautiful looking. Look at those red eyes. Bah. That's a sheep. <laughs> Nay. We're going to review Aaron's part here at Animals. Apparently, bad means not a goat, but sheep. So I'm going to go back to kindergarten. Pygmy goat. This one does say ba. It does say ba. I said ba. By bleating. That's what we call the ba sound. Bleating. Bleating is the name of the sound. By goats. What's up, dude? You like us eat lunch. Liner? Getting yourself a little liner? What's for lunch? Goats use their lips to grab their food. Their upper jaw is wider than their lower jaw, so only one side of the mouth can be used to chew their food. Lifespan is usually 22 years domesticated, 8 to 12 in the wild. I'm going to guess 8 to 12 because they like to climb on rocks and mountains and so probably, well, there's probably predators, out there. predators and uh, the fact that they fall off mountains. We're going to go with that. Bah. I bet he can climb a mountain better than you can. Oh, he could definitely climb a mountain better than I could. not to be confused with an alligator and you can tell by the snout tell us <laughs> tell us about this fat snake Gaboon mm -hmm. and they can weigh up to 40 pounds, making these the heaviest snakes. But don't let their bulky appearance fool you, they are very quick. They have one of the fastest and most lethal strikes of any venomous snake. He is a big one. This is a big one. Jennifer's head was like right here. I was trying to find the bullfrog. In trying the to find the bullfrog right there next to that big old fat head. That is a fat. Apparently they bury themselves under leaves. See how his head looks like a leaf? Yeah, it does. You wouldn't even see him. This is a Florida cottonmouth, also called a water moccasin, and is highly deadly and found near water. Most people will mistake this for just a water snake, oh, okay. so do not confuse it. It's distinguishable by the vertical pupils and facial pits. It's got pits on its nose, and that's really how you can tell. See the pits right there on the top of its nose? It says, water snakes have round pupils and no facial pit. I wish he was facing us so you could see him. That's your cotton mouth water moccasin. Let me see if I can get a better picture of his face so you can see his face and how it would look. But I'm just gonna say that like, if I'm out and about and near water and I see a snake, um, heck, if I'm out in my yard and I see a snake, um, I, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go the other way. He can have it, I will give him the keys to my house, the car, wherever he's at, and he can have the whole kit and caboodle. I'm gonna go.
Well, that was our trip to the Central Florida Zoo and it was fun. Small, smaller, just smaller just of the for zoos. A short, you know, couple little hour trip. Yeah, like, we got here like around like noon and it's like two. You could do it in about two hours, I would say. Um, we didn't get to do the rhino, rhino encounter. encounter that we wanted to do. That was $20. They sell limited tickets, so uh, you have to get that. It looked like it was early. like one family at a time and there's only three spots. So you need to be here and get that early so that you can get that done. Um, it was beautiful weather. Definitely recommend coming and checking out all of the cute little exhibits, all the animals visiting, supporting the local Central Florida Zoo. And that's a wrap on us. So you guys remember to shine. We'll see you next time. Bye.